What's going on, guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of Russian Fishing for, and we are back at Cory Lake. It's been quite some time since we have fished Cory Lake, but we have a suggestion to go back to Cory Lake. Big thanks to Leo4831, and she says, Hi, I was wondering if you could do Cory Lake, maybe in a few videos, but maybe sometime soon. Well, here I am, and I'm going to make this video a beginner tutorial if you just unlock Cory Lake at level 16, and if you want to go trolling but you can't yet because you don't have enough silver to buy the lures, like the hunters, the spikers, um, yeah, all of that, snatchers, whatever it may be, they're expensive, you know. And a beginner level may have struggle to buy those kind of lures. You also need a line. You also need a decent reel. So, you want to fish Cory, but you cannot troll just yet. Well, that's what I'm here for today. I'm going to show you how to bottom feed with the most basic bottom of the line setups so you can save up your silver to buy the equipment you need. Thank you, Leo, for suggesting today's video. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in into today's episode. What we can get here today, usually I troll on Cory every time, but trolling isn't the hottest method right now. So I'm going to this nice big fat perch there. Holy. All right. Yeah, usually I troll, but I just want to see what I can catch at this spot. I heard it's active, and all I put is worms on. So for the beginner of the beginners, you can do this. I'll show you what I'm using after I haul in these fish here. At this spot is a really good spot for trophy common minnows. There's a decent bream, not really, but for you beginner levels, that would do just fine. Silver is silver, right? All right. All right, so you can get gibble, you can get bream, common, um, common minnows. You can get a variety of fish here. Vendes, I believe you can get. Um, what did I just catch? And you can get the yeah, bream perch, gibble carp, you can get crucian shark carp, vendes. Um, there's probably some others that I'm not mentioning that I forgot. But yeah, this is for your beginner levels who don't even have equipment to go troll curry, Corey. You know, you need a, you know, balsa minnow is more in highly encouraged by a cost of gold. Or unless you have like a 90, 80% skill level making unlocked on making lures. So this is for the beginners. So all you need right here is a tiny hook, tiny 19, or you can use the tiny 22. Just one worm. It does not cost much at all. If you don't want to spend money on bait, you can always go use your shovel. No, nope, that's not my shovel. That is my scoop. This is your shovel. So if you do this, it will take your energy away. But you give a chance of some bait here. So in my instant, usually I take Nightcrawler. But for this, I'm going to um, take the worms. You get six worms right there. And then you're going to want to make some coffee or some tea. If you drink one of these up, it will fill your energy bar back up. So you can do it again. So yeah, I'm going to spend about an hour or two at this spot and see what we can get here. Hopefully some juicy, juicy stuff. That would be nice. A lot of bream at this spot. A lot of bream. I could put bream um, ground bait on, but I don't want to specifically get bream. <laughs> And you can fish this spot with any reel, any rod you want. That's a fat ass perch, 869. Grand Perch. Oh my goodness. Feed a family with that bad boy. I'll tell you that much. Spate onto the setups here. I'll show you after I reel this fish in. There's a Vendace. Nice to see it. Alright, so what I am using right here is, instead of the weight, I got the Peter Cages, I got Roach Mix in here, you got Ground Crackers, Blood Room Caramel, and then you got the Bark Beetle Larva. That is right, that is bait number two, that is very active at this spot. And we're going to see what we can pull in with the Bark Beetle. 
There is a couple other spots on Quarry that are active at this moment as well. I might show it later in the video, I'm not sure. But this is the most active, in my opinion, right now at Quarry, is at 98.110. So yeah, let's see what else we can get here at this spot. Hopefully something really, really damn juicy. Because we all love juicy stuff. Okay, so we got line 1 and 2 going off here. I'm going to take a chance of picking the rod 2 up, because if it's not on the hook, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up, wait for it. Wait, he should be now. Yeah, there we go. A 408 gram common roach. Remember, when you use the roach ground bait, it doesn't mean you're specifically only going to get roaches. You can get a variety of species with the roach mix. Just because it says roach does not mean it's specifically for roach. That is not how it goes. Yes, you will catch more roach, 100%. But it's not guaranteed to be every fish. Other fish still like what's in that. Because it's called roach mix, right? So we go to ground bait here. And we go to some roach mix. It says roach, right? So you, so you think it's going to be just for specifically roach. But if you go here, it says ground crackers, bloodworm, caramel. A lot of other fish like that as well. Not just roach. It's just roach like this the most. But they, a lot of other fish like it as well. If you don't have roach mix, you can um, substitute with crucian slash gibble cart mix. That will also work. Anything with ground crackers. Um, ground crackers. What's the other one? Hold up. What's the other one? Ground crackers. And I have it in my... Do, 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 do. Corn flour. Yeah, so corn flour or ground crackers will do you just fine. Alright, so line one and two. Come on now. we go common roach see you can also get white bream with the roach mix as well All right, so if the roach mix is not working too well, and if you're just consistently getting roaches, then you can take the bait off, the ground bait off, and that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to show you that it does work even without that ground bait. We're going to put a weight on, and that is it. So a lot of other fish do like roach mix and the crucian mix, but sometimes you can just get, um, say if you put roach mix on, you'll just get roaches. Sometimes that happens, yes. So if that is the case, then you can go ahead and switch it out to just the weights and no feeder cages to see if that turns your luck around. So now all of our rods are with the um, weights and not the feeder cages. So now let's see if we can get any more variety of stuff. I'm just trying to show you beginner players what you can use early on, you know, to switch up the bite rate and all that. Like you can go to crafting, go to ground baits. Cory Lake, you can use Bream Mix, you can use Cart Mix, you can use Crucian um, Gibble Mix, Eyed Mix, Roach Mix, Tench, I would stay away from for Cory Lake. White Bream Mix, you can also use if you want, but White Bream, Eyed, Carp, and I believe that's it for, for Cory Lake that you can use. You're going to need high skill level. Because White Bream Mix, you can use a Cory, Eyed, you can use a Cory, Carp, you can use a Cory. And Bream Mix, you can use a Cory, but these, those four, you need a higher skill level for. So you might have to improve your ground bait up a little bit. Alright, so now we have the feeder cages off. Let's see what else we can catch here. Oh, see? There's Roach still coming in. Roach, this is a Roach Honey Hole, I'll tell you that much. But it's still very active, and that's what you want. Do Roaches give much silver? Absolutely not. But you know what? Enough of them will add up. And that's what you want. Another common roach. All right, all right. 
I think I'm going to switch up spots now. So this is a really active spot. If you sat here for a day or two, you, you can probably get some pretty good juicy goodies out of this spot. So the next spot I am going to show you is, I believe, right through here. So I'm going to move over there and I'll see you when I get over there. All right, for the second spot of the video, we are at 67.110. This is where we are on the map. This is the second spot that you can fish at. That has a very high bite rate. A crucian carp. All right, all right. And I am stuck. Absolutely fantastic. Who doesn't like getting stuck? Me. <laughs> all right, let's get him stuck here. Let's reel this bad boy back in. Let's chuck this thing back out there right there we go tighten the line up because i do not like slack line it bothers me there we <laughs> all right i believe line two was going off yes it was also i would recommend nothing higher than a 7.4 kilogram liter 623 crucian carp all right all right yeah so i wouldn't go higher than a 7.2 kg or in, you, know, you could do 10 if you wanted to on um, fluocarbon line i'll show you here in a second because the thicker even though it's fluocarbon it's still if you have like say 35 kilogram 25 kilogram 20 it's still going to be thicker and fish have a slight chance of seeing it and they might not bite your hook because they can see the dang leader so if we look here we have the 7.4 kilogram leader right here fluocarbon this is a tiny tiny thin leader so fish probably won't be able to see it and they're going to go right after the hook so yeah this is spot active spot number two um, i might switch up the baits again from the the beetle but we'll see how good the bite rate is because also too i'm just using the beetle there is with this spot in the last spot i was at you can use red worms, you can use night crawlers, you can use beetles, you could use um um you can use like pie mayflies. Whatever you want to use, it will probably still be very active. People don't really look at Cory and be like, oh it's a feed it's a it's a feeding lake. No. They look at it as a trolling lake. And yes, it is a trolling lake. I'll, I'll agree with you there, but it is still very good. It's really really underrated for bottom feeding. Like, do you get the biggest ones and the biggest fish in the world when you feed Cory? No, you do not. But you know what? When you're beginner level, you're not going to complain. You don't have many maps unlocked. You need to find some maps to fish at because you got to raise that skill level up. You got to raise that XP level up. You got to raise that silver up. And so I'm going to, I'm just giving you a few spots here to help you out and get you a lot of silver fast and how to get a lot of XP and grind your skill levels up. Because trust me, you're going to want to bottom fish so that you can grind your skill level up to get cart rods. And you need cart rods. They are specifically good for Amber Lake. If you get to Amber Lake and you don't have those cart rods unlocked, well, you're not going to be able to fish Amber that much. So you want to make sure when you're early level to grind out the um, bottom feeding so you can have access to cart rods and classic hair rigs, classic pop-up rigs, and so forth. There we go. crucians so because we are catching so many crucians what i am going to do is i'm going to switch it back up and put some crucian gibble ground bait on there let's see here eight out of ten quality that will work so if you're getting a lot of crucians and gibbles in this spot then let's hope for a trophy put the ground bait on there maybe we might really get some trophies in here maybe not i don't know but that should increase the bite rate just a little bit here And now uh, the Crucian. Someone got a Gibble trophy in chat. Congrats. Nice nice fish there. All right, so let's put the feeder cage back on this one here. Remember, I'm just showing you many ways that you can fish Cory. Bottom fish Cory. We can, we can put red worms on if you want right now if you want. You can put worms on right now if you want. You may get blood worms, caterfly, mayfly larva. The list goes on and on. If I showed you each one of these, this video would be probably five hours long. But... <laughs> You could use whatever bait that's sitting right here in front of me, except for the ones grayed out. Well, leeches you probably could, but all of these will work. I'm just showing you the select few baits that work really well here. There we go. Put some of that on there. Perfect. Look at the lines just going off here. 
That is awesome to see. Seven fifty four gram crucian. Remember, these fish do not go for much. I realize that. But if you fish here for an hour or two and get over 100 fish or 150 and you keep net, they're going to add up and they're going to go for quite a bit of silver. 1,000, 1 kilogram crucian. If you do get a trophy crucian or gibble on with this um, fluocarbon leader on, it's only 7.4 kilograms, you want to make sure that your friction break is not all the way up there because if you do get a heavy fish on, well, that's going to snap your line right there. So make sure it is not maxed out. You lower your friction break down just in case you get a big one on. Because trust me, I've done that many times. That's why it's at 18. You never know. It doesn't matter if the fish is small. It doesn't matter. Just keep it. All adds up. End of the day, you can probably have 100, 150 silver. And that adds up every time. If you want to go troll, go right ahead. Because that will work too. I'm just bottom feeding right now because I've trolled over and over at Cory, and I'm going to show you how you can make silver besides trolling at Cory, because there is other methods than just trolling, which is one of them is right here is bottom feeding. And this is the last spot that I am going to show, but you can try the shoreline all the way down here, all the way up here, you cross the bridge, you try it down here, you can even go on this side right here, see this little beach area, I believe this is the max you can go, I believe. You can fish here too. There's a little pier that goes off right here. You can also fish that. There is lots of areas of this lake, parts of areas of this lake we can fish at really successfully. If you're if you're a higher level, let's say if you're level 20 plus or level 25 plus and you're watching this, this may not be the video for you because you probably want way more silver than what I'm catching here. But this is for the beginner of the beginners, just so that you guys and gals, if you like level, just unlock Corey at level 16, 17, 18, even 19, and you, you, you just want to catch some stuff, well, this is the method, because you're not going to have the balsam minnows, you're not going to have the spikers, it's 50 silver for one of those, you're not going to be able to afford it. So this is the beginner entryway to Corey Lake. I'm hoping this will help you guys and gals out. If you fish here enough, eventually you will get yourself a trophy crucian or gibble. It will happen. Trust me, I've caught many crucian and gibble trophies at this lake. Have I? Wait, have I? I think I have. Um, wait, hold up. Uh, do they even have that on trophies? Trophies, quarry. Um. No, I, no, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, I'm pretty sure though I did, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's false alarm. Oops, my bad. <laughs> my bad. And remember, every week, the fish migrate. So there's crucian and gibble at this spot. Next week, there might be something else. So keep an eye on that. But if you stay here long enough, you will get something juicy once in a blue moon every time. You just got to be patient. Wait for it. All I'll say is that just be careful with the small fluocarbon line, just, I mean, leader. Just be careful, because if you get, like, this one almost went to the deep orange meter, and it was 600 gram. So if you get a trophy of 1.8 kilograms of gibble cart, it will most likely snap your line unless you have your friction break set to low. Then it won't. You just gotta play it out right. If you wanna use a 10 kilogram, 15 kilogram, up to 30 kilogram leader line, Go ahead and do it. I'm not going to stop you. You will still catch fish, but the bite rate will significantly go down. Let me know down in the comment section below how much luck you have here. I want to see when you beginner levels, what you can do at, the, at these spots I showed today. If you want to, if you want to know how to make silver trolling. I will link a video to the top right of the corner of the screen right now. That Press that link and that will go direct you to the trolling video of how to make silver trolling at Cory Lake.
So I made a couple of videos of, tro of trolling on Cory Lake, how to be successful there. And now I'm going to show you how to be successful making silver and getting XP up with bottom beating. All right, come on. Swallow that hook. I know you want to. I know you want to. If I pick this rod out and there's nothing on there, I'm going to be mad. There's nothing on there. Crap. I should have waited. I'm, I'm very impatient. <laughs> you got something on line three, though. There we go. Now the fruition. Usually there's a lot of common minnows in this in these parts of the water, but looks like the fish migrated and there's no commons anymore. <laughs> but that is alright. Common roach. Remember, I was only fishing these two spots for probably less than 20 minutes. I'm not lying to you, probably less than 20 minutes, probably more like 15 minutes, and we're already at almost 50 fish. So if I stayed here for a full hour, I would easily have probably over 100 fish in my cube net or more, which are probably, with the fish we caught, will probably go for about 200-ish silver, which is a beginning, beginner level. That is insane. That is awesome. That is what you want. So yeah, and if, if this spot is not really working out, you can also go to this spot over here. I'll show you. Get out of my way, tree. <laughs> you can also go to this spot right here. This spot also I have found worked really, really well at 66105. And then if we keep going over here, onto the left side, you can fish right here in this little bay here. This spot actually works really well as well. And then you can come over here beside this little log and then fish right in there. Also, good bite rate. I just don't have all the time in the world to show you every single spot with every bait. I'm just showing you the most active spots at the moment. Your bite rate will calm down a little bit because we are in the middle of the night. You can also throw ground bait in the water if you want as well. To up your bite rate even more. Like for instance, if I wanted, this is a beginner level, but if I wanted to, I could go to my spot right, right here. And then we're going to go to, let's see. Should we put some roach mix in there? Sure. Well, it's only 4 out of 10 quality. You would be better than that. Bream. Um, let's see. What is this? Ground crack and millipore. Yeah, sure. So it's 7 out of 10, it's good enough. I'm just going to put this out there and see what we can catch. You beginner levels aren't going to have this, I know. I'm just testing it for myself to see if it does work. I don't know, but I'm thinking it might. <laughs> I'm just curious. Alright, so let's reel this in. Basically, I'm just trying to fast forward and try to get more bite rates. <laughs> See, for Russian, for sturgeon fishing, all you need is a tally rod, right? Listen to Critty Critiness over here. All you need is a good, strong tally for sturgeon. That is right. <laughs> Go fish with. Go fish sturgeon. With a tally rod, and let me know how it works. There we go. All right. Let's see, we got something on line one here.
I know there's nothing on the end of that line. I did that before, and you're just going to come in empty-handed for me, aren't you? I don't trust you. I do not trust you one bit. Oh, there is a fish on. Okay, never mind. I lied to myself. All right. Oh, I released it. Ah, oh, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know if that spot rod's going to do anything. I don't know. It is during the night, so who knows. Yeah, so yeah, the so it looks like the bite rate sucks right now. Just just because it's nighttime, anywhere you go, basically in any map, if you fish nighttime at bottom feeding, it it, it sucks. <laughs> and your bite rate will pick up a lot more during the day. I'm gonna get to 50 fish, and then we're gonna go ahead and sell it. It's not gonna be the most silver in the world, but you know what? Like I said, this video is meant for beginner beginner levels to help you out and find active spots. You know, go ahead, you know, maybe beetle larvae is getting some crucian, you know. Go put some red worms on. Go see what you can catch with that. Go put regular worms on. You know, go put, I don't know, go put um night crawlers on. See, at nighttime, I'd recommend night crawlers at nighttime just because it's a nighttime bait. But, yeah, you can use that. Leeches, I haven't experimented much with leeches. And I'm not going to show leeches because they are only, you can only get leeches with gold. So I'm not going to do that to you guys and gals. I'm not going to do that because it is a gold bait. So uh, red worm, worm, blood worm will work. Maggot, all of these will work. Um, flies, these are more meant for bleak. They're meant for frogs, bleak. Um, you can get probably from other species, but not very many. Dung beetles can catch a variety. And then, yeah, I'm not going to go on to the rest. But yeah, you can use endless amount of baits here. You know, like, after you watch this episode, go put a red worm on. See what you can go catch. Maybe you'll go catch some common minnows or you're going to catch some breams. I don't know. Um, you can put some bream mix on there. If You can put some, whatever you want. You, It's endless. Put your head, put your imagination to the test and go at it. <laughs> go, go wild on your imagination. You can do a lot. I'm just showing you, like, a small, small percentage of what kind of fish and what setup to use at these spots. Because I could be here probably for another five, six in real life hours just talking about all the other baits and what you can use and all the other active spots. But I'm hoping this will help you beginner levels out. I really am. I'm sorry for your high level, high, the higher levels that are watching this video. They're probably like, oh, I don't want to watch this and this. I don't want to make a hundred silver in an hour. That sucks. I know. I get it. But like I said, this is meant for beginner, beginner levels that can't afford to go on other maps. Or don't have the rest of the maps unlocked. So if you have Cory here and you just have Cory unlocked, well, even if you have Bear unlocked, you need the specific bait. So Bear, which if you're really and you just unlock Bear, you're probably not going to have the cart rods that you need. You're going to need boilies. You're going to need pellets and all of that. So you're not going to be able to go to Bear when you first unlock it. I guarantee you that right now. So you're going to have Cory unlocked. And then if you have Cory unlocked, that means you have all the rest here. Okay, so you're bored of Oldberg. Winding a mosquito, you're bored of it. You just want to fish Cory because you just unlocked it. You're excited, but you don't have the equipment yet to get... Um, to, you don't have the silver yet to go trolling on Cory. Because it does cost a lot. Because you need the right line. You need the expensive leaders. The uh, custom-made ones, especially. Um, spikers are worth over 52 silver each. The balsam minnows are put, paid with gold. Or unless you have the 80% skill level needed to unlock it. So, even though Cory is a level 16 lake... When you first unlock it, you're going to need a lot of equipment and a lot of silver to do it with. So this method, what I'm doing right here, is going to build that silver up so you can afford to buy some, you know, maybe one or two spikers. You can go ahead if you want and buy some leaders, but I recommend 35 kilogram leaders if you're going to go out trolling. But if you're beginning level, you're not going to have that. So just buy the highest fluorocarbon leader the store has to offer. It's not the best, but it will do until you can get better ones. Yeah, so this is just to make sure you guys can build up some little bit of silver to get you started for trolling on Cory. Because this will definitely help. And it doesn't take much time either. So, like I said, we're going to get to 50 fish and then we're going to end off the episode here. I could be here for another two hours catching fish and then raising that silver total up, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to show you what spots are active, what baits are active, and so on. So, there we go.
if you just unlock bear after quarry and you want to, you know what, I want to go fish Bear Lake. Well, I have a video about Bear Lake that I made a couple days ago. If you want to go check that out, go ahead to, and we'll see what you can learn off that video. Like I said, I have other videos about trolling Cory earlier on in my channel that I created. I think two or three Cory videos of trolling I published. So if you want to go watch that, I did link the the episode back in the back in the back away in the episode. If you're going to want to check that out yourself, but yeah, I talked a lot in this episode, but I'm hoping it <laughs> I'm hoping it helped you out. Mm mm mm. Ah, uh, love my Red Bull. Gotta have my Red Bull. I didn't expect to catch anything juicy in this episode. In 8.36. Just two more fish and we'll end off the episode here. No editing needed. You can stay here. It's active enough. We'll definitely catch two fish within the next probably couple minutes here. I think that spot rod was a waste. <laughs> That's all right. I was just testing it myself to see. Eat some delicious Russian pancakes. Oh my goodness. Who doesn't like some Russian pancakes? I do. All right. Um, then some coffee. Well, I had pancakes with coffee in the morning with a Red Bull. Oh, yes. Delicious. Love to see it. Okay, now I need two fish. Now I'm not going to catch two fish. That's how it goes every time. The fish in the game knows I need two or just one, and they're not going to produce it. So they're not going to give it. Okay, there's one. Remember, if the bite rate dies just even a little bit and you want even higher bite rate, change the baits up. What I would do, I'd, what I would recommend after um, the beetle, if the beetles are not performing well for some reason, go ahead, put red worm on, and then I'd put worm on. And at nighttime, experiment with night crawlers. If you do put night crawlers on at nighttime. I do recommend upping your leader up to, from 7.4 kilograms up to probably around a 20 kilogram leader because night crawlers do attract large fish. So just be careful on that. I don't want to hear in the comment section saying, oh, well, the Canadian way, well, he said to use 7.4 and I got a big fish on and it broke the line. Well, I'm sorry, but <laughs> the fish, the fishing method I'm using now it, you're not going to catch very many big fish that will snap the line unless you might get a trophy gibble or, or a crucian on. If you play it right, you'll bring it in. But if you hook onto like a big lake trout, you're done anyways. But for nighttime, use a night crawler. Put at least a 20 kilogram leader on. You should be good to go. If you use a 7.4 kilogram leader and you put a night crawler on and you snap your line, do not complain to me because I did warn you. <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> All right, 534 common roach. There we go. Oh, okay. We got one last one on. Good luck. Oh, I guess we had one on this rod the whole time. Okay. I didn't know that. Crucian, all right. Is there something on? I missed it. No, there we go. All right. I'll see you back at the town, and I'll see you when i go fish no <laughs> i'm gonna see you when i go fish i'm gonna see you all back when i reach back to town and i'm at the cafe and the fish market all right so i fished at those two spots for no more than 20 minutes so in 20 minutes we got 50 52 fish any cafe orders there we go so let's get our handy Dandy calculator out that fit the cafe order. So we're going to sell that for 13. So we're going to put 13 silver in. Okay. Six common roaches by weight again. So we want to do six. Do, 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 do. There we go. So 11.57. All right. Plus. Oh, we got no roughies. We got no. I wish you got a perch that big. That would be nice. Uh, we don't have that many. You see, at that spot, see, with the Common Roach Cafe, if you put what I did last time with the, with the beetle and put Common Roach ground bait on, you would easily get that cafe for 40 silver, 100%. Um, no lake trout, gibble, no, we didn't get that big. No, okay. So let's head over to the fish market and let's see what our total value is going to be. 
here's the fish market. Let's see. So 32 plus that plus there you go. So in 20 minutes, in 15 to 20 minutes real time, I made 56 silver, 56.94 silver. So 57 silver in 20 minutes. I'm telling you, this does work. If you just unlock core, you need silver. 20 minutes, you can have 57 silver. If you fish there for an hour, well, times that by three, you would have 150 silver in one hour. And maybe if you're a high level, Oh, 150 silver an hour. That sucks. I can make a thousand silver. I can make 500 silver. This sucks. This video sucks. Well, like I said, it's for beginners. If you just if you're level 16 and you unlock Corey, trust me, 150 silver is like a thousand silver when you're high up. It counts. Trust me. I was level 16. I was there. I would have, I would have been in heaven if I would have made 150 silver an hour, Corey. I would have been in love. So 57 silver in 20 minutes, or I think it was 15, I'm not sure. It was 15 or 20 minutes in real time. We made 57 silver. I'm happy about that. That should help you beginner levels out. So if you fished, see if you rotated the spots that I showed you around all day, like in the whole in real life day, and you spent around eight hours on that, well, let's do the math, okay? Let's do the math. And remember, I caught like the tiniest fish boss possible, so you can't catch more tinier than that. So... So if we catch 50 sub, hey, okay, we're in math class now. Gather around the table here. Gather around. Get, get your chairs. Go into your desks. I'm the teacher here. So, <laughs> so we got 57. And if you fished here for eight hours, so if we did that, wait, hold up. 57. All right. So if you did that and you fished for eight hours, you would come out with 1,200 silver in eight hours go put a movie on go watch some youtube in the background whatever you want time will fly by 1200 silver you don't need to fish for that long because you, you just want to get enough so you can go fish and troll cory enough equipment to patrol cory with but 1200 silver in eight hours at cory lake in real time that is absolutely insane especially for catching all the smallest fish you can. So that is awesome. And if you guys and gals enjoyed today's episode, please remember to smash the thumbs up button. Hit the hell out of that subscribe button. And I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing Force. Take care.